This may be the age of Omicron, but that didn't deter hundreds of New Age revelers crowding around Stonehenge, celebrating the winter solstice, most without masks. Yet in central London, the streets are much quieter than normal, far fewer shoppers in the run-up to Christmas, and many of the West End theatres closed. The biggest queues are outside vaccination centres as people line up for their third booster vaccines. More than six million booster jabs were given in the past week and more than half the population is now triple jabbed. The latest research from both South Africa and the UK suggests that the Omicron variant is less severe leading to fewer hospitalisations. But with a record 106,000 new cases reported in the UK, there are still fears that this could overload the health service. Hospitals are also worried that large numbers of staff are having to self-isolate. A major problem for us is staffing. So most of our staff are fully vaccinated, but they still have to isolate if they're contacts and we still have had staff contract COVID and that puts huge pressure on our systems. We are always kind of running um, with just enough staff and anything that, that puts that in danger is a real problem. While much of the developed world is rapidly rolling out booster jabs, the World Health Organization remains concerned that the poorer nations are not being vaccinated. It's frankly difficult to understand how a year since the first vaccines were administered, three in four health workers in Africa remain unvaccinated. While some countries are now rolling out blanket booster programs, only half of WHO's member states have been able to reach the target of vaccinating 40% of their populations by the end of the year because of distortions in global supply. Britain's former Prime Minister Gordon Brown has called the poor global vaccine rollout a stain on our soul. For the moment, no extra restrictions are being imposed in England before Christmas, with the government saying it needs more data before deciding what to do next.